Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, before we go into today's broadcast, can we make demand for our daily bread? Are you ready? Join me right now. Say with faith in your heart, say, Father, I demand right now my daily bread. It's coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hey, not just asking. Is your heart ready to receive from the Lord? The central controlling part in this whole thing is your heart. You might say everything or speak everything, you know, repeat after everyone. But if your heart is not connected to what you're saying, then you're only speaking with your lips. Because like I always used to say, and that's the truth, you speak with your mouth and you say with your heart. So when we make this demand, make sure that's exactly what you are saying. Don't just join me to confess and then you just wonder, well, if it happens, if it doesn't happen. No, why shouldn't it happen? Your heart must trust in the Lord, the one you're making this demand from, that he hears you and he's going to respond. Praise God. That's how we receive from him. Because he knows that we know, <laughs> praise God, that he will supply. Learn to lock your heart in him, trusting in him praise god turn your bibles with me to john chapter 17 that's our theme scripture of what we have been sharing and the glory of jesus the glory of jesus verse 22 john chapter 17 jesus speaking here and he says and the glory which thou givest me i have given them that they may be one even as we are one the purpose for him giving that glory to us is so that we will be one as he and god is one and i explained that to you previously that oneness is not just let's all come together and agree and do one thing together no that oneness is the work of the holy spirit the holy spirit is the one that executes that oneness and how does he do it what he's saying to us is exactly what he gave to the Father to say. Praise God. Now, this should sink in your mind. This is why we meditate on the scriptures. This should sink in your mind. This oneness Jesus was talking about. How do I operate it? How do I walk in it? So I told you the glory of the Father is the Holy Spirit. The glory of Jesus is the Holy Spirit. See? So now, um, let me show you something. Romans chapter 6. Romans chapter 6. Verse 4. Look at this now. Romans 6 4. Therefore, as therefore we were we are buried with him by baptism unto death, that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. Christ was raised from the dead. How? By the glory of the Father. So the glory of the Father is the Holy Spirit. So Jesus was raised from the dead by the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. And Jesus himself said this. If you go back, if we go back to that John chapter 17, something Jesus said there in the previous verses. John chapter 17 from verse 5 and now O father glorify thou me with thy own self with the glory which I had 
with D before the world began. So Jesus acknowledged before the Father that he knew that there was a glory he had with the Father before the world began. Now, this means Jesus existed before the world began. Now, let me say something on this so that you will get a clearer understanding of it. I told you the Father created everything in six days, right? And he did everything he created by speaking. Now, many of us have always believed that Jesus came as a result of the fall of man. So if Adam had not seen, Jesus wouldn't have come. Now, that's what a lot of us have always believed. But you see, when you begin to bring things to light and align things properly, it begins to raise lots of questions. For example, Jesus here is speaking of himself existing before the world began. So people have this mentality that, oh, see, that means God knew Adam and Eve were going to sin. He knew everything that was going to happen. So he prepared Jesus from the very beginning. No, sir. The preparation of Jesus before the world began was not to come and deal with sin. See, I told you last week, I said, as yesterday, I told you. The creation of the Father, when the Father was creating everything, there was no sin, there was no man, there was no wrongdoing, there was no, there was nothing bad. So the Father was not creating with those things in mind. The Father was creating from the place of peace and rest. So everything the Father created was perfect from his the excellent beauty of his mind. That's what he did in the beginning. He created all these things by speaking. And in his speaking, I want you to understand something. He said, let us make man in our own image and after our likeness and let him have dominion over all these things you know you know you know the story you know you know the scripture right okay so the father created all these things there was no sin there was no man had, was not tempted because there was no man i'm talking of when god was creating things within those six days and like i said nothing when god rested nothing physical had come up Now, in his creation of man, remember, he said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. Now, that's all God said on the sixth day of his creation. So the man God was creating or God created was in his image and after his likeness. Okay. And I told you Genesis chapter two, verse four was when the Holy Ghost took over and began to physically create everything the father have created by speaking now the job of the holy spirit is to move everything to the perfect uh, place where the father spoke concerning them so god said let us make man in our image and after our likeness so man was created by god through his words in the image and likeness of himself okay now god is a spirit we know that right god is a spirit adam the first man that was created was made from the dust of the earth and you see god breathed into him the breath of life and he, he became a living being he became a living soul not a spirit he became a living soul take note of that he was not created a spirit he wasn't now in the process of time you know the story everything happened 
the way it happened. And man, Adam was not in the image and likeness of God. He was never in it. He was far from it. What brings us to the image and likeness of God is when man becomes a spirit. And the only time man became a spirit is when the new creation man was born. Please take note of these things. The new creation man was born because of the coming of Jesus. Jesus, and understand, the new creation was not the new creation man was not born because of sin. Whether there was sin or no sin, the coming of the new creation man was clear. Because God says, Let us make man in our image and after our likeness. So whether Adam had sinned or he had not sinned the new creation man would have still come. Oh, what, why do we need a new creation man? Very simple. You see, because we, we are the ones on this side that think we get born again because of our sins. No, sir. We don't get born again because of sin. When you get born again, your sin will be done away with. But we don't get born again because of sin. Jesus was clear on that. He said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Why? He said, because that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So what is that that was born of the flesh? That which is born of the flesh is the Adam, the man that was created from the dust of the ground. He was born flesh. God himself testified of this in Genesis chapter 6. He said, my spirit will not always strive with man for he is indeed flesh. How come God said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. And then now you're saying man is flesh. Yes. That's the beginning of the creation. The work was not done yet. And that's the thing I'm trying to get you to understand about life. Now, because the work was not done, guess what? We that came in to see man as flesh have learned the ways of man the flesh. And that man the flesh and his ways have become a limitation because we have used that man as a yardstick to measure everything that we do as men. Oh, after all, I'm only human. You hear people talk like that. After all, he's just a man. You've heard people talk like that. Yes, he was made flesh. But listen, that was not the end of the journey. The journey had just begun. And the intention of the father was very clear. Let us make man in our image and in our likeness. And this man, I call this Shikali Babradush. <laughs> ah, in Atayaka. I, I pray the Lord gives you understanding. I pray, you know, sometimes I, I just pray you take time to meditate on these things and, and meditate on them until the Holy Spirit begins to bring forth its meaning to you. If not, it's useless to you. But why am I sharing these things with you? Because it's time to walk in the glory. Oh, let me show you. John chapter 2. Thank you, Holy Spirit. John chapter 2. Verse 11. Now, this was when Jesus turned water into wine in, in, the, in the wedding of, in Cana of Galilee. Now, verse 11. John chapter 2, verse 11. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory. So, note was taken that a certain time Jesus began to do some work, to do one thing, manifest 
forth his glory show his glory now do you know it's the same thing jesus saying that the glory god gave to him he has given to us he has given to me he has given to you now you have that glory you're the custodian of that glory and then he says I call it Barabashaya. same way jesus began to do miracles to manifest his glory same way i declare in your life you will begin to do the works that will manifest forth your glory jesus said it he that believes in me the works that i do he will do also why because the holy spirit that was in jesus jesus said it the father that dwells in me he's the one that does the works now we do he, the same father that dwells in jesus is the same one dwelling in us brothers and sisters this is not just for pastors this is not just for men of god this is for everyone who has the holy ghost in him the works jesus did he said you will do also not just that even greater works yeah how how he said how will you do greater works because the spirit that was in jesus doing the works is the same spirit in you today you know they asked jesus one time he says how come we couldn't cast out the devil and Jesus simply told them, because of your unbelief. Oh, how there's so much unbelief today. How, how? A lot of God's children function and struggle with unbelief. They struggle with it. But I pray today that the Spirit of God will help you. I pray He will open up your understanding. Listen to me, listen to me. Every bondage over your mind, everything that I've held your mind bound. I call it Shabraka Dede Intam Rung Doski Jikete Me. Do you understand what the Father is thinking concerning you? Do you understand the Father's thoughts concerning you? You are not you are not broke. You are not you are not there. You are not. It doesn't matter where you find yourself in life today. I declare over you right now, it is time to manifest for your glory. Or glory are we talking about? We have no glory. We, we receive glory from Jesus. Jesus said, the glory that you have given to me, which I had with you from the foundation of the world, that same glory I give to them is the same glory which he had from the foundation of the world. We have that same glory from the foundation of the world, brothers and sisters. The glory is the Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit dwells in us, doing words. Bringing us into that oneness. Where we do the same works. So Jesus didn't do the ah, you are macro knees. Jesus didn't do, didn't do the works he did just because he was the son of God. No, sir. Jesus did the works he did by the Holy Spirit that was dwelling in him. Today, the Holy Spirit is dwelling in you. Listen to me. You are born for signs and wonders and miracles. And I declare over your life right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As this someone being healed, in the right ear in the right ear you've had these issues that liquid comes out often from your right ear i declare over you right now that dries up and be healed right now abnormally liquid comes out of it you know it's abnormal i command it to dry up right now in the name of jesus christ everything that is not right with your body i speak to your body right now be healed be healed in your legs be healed in your body i command every joint in your body to receive strength right now in the name of jesus christ thank you lord jesus 
Oh, we give you praise, Father. We give you praise, Father. Step out today and manifest the glory of God, the glory of Jesus. It is time to begin to manifest your glory. Praise God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Like, share, and subscribe.